Not only are we seeing an increase in coronavirus cases here in Bear County, but across the state of Texas. Dr. John Zerwas advises Governor Greg Abbott and the supply chain strike force and preparedness amid the pandemic. He joins us now from Austin. Dr. Zerwas, thanks again for joining us. We want to ask you first, how are hospitals doing right now and are we prepared in Texas for things to get worse? Well, you know, we're seeing an ever increasing number and that's concerning to us. Uh, I'm very proud of the way the healthcare systems, hospitals have stepped up to meet the challenge uh, where they have had to accommodate an increasing surge of patients. They've done this very well. Um, in some localities, they've been able to direct patients to different uh, hospitals when they get a little bit tighter and a little bit more full with a variety of patients. Uh, but in general, uh, hospitals are doing well. Uh, right now, probably about 20% statewide average of the patients that are in hospitals are COVID related patients. So it's still a, a relatively small amount of the patients that are driving the census in our hospitals, which tells you also is that there's room to uh, accommodate more and more COVID patients. Uh, it will certainly crowd out some of the more elective type things that would be in a hospital for various reasons. Uh, but you know, that's the nature of, of a pandemic and that's the business that hospitals and healthcare systems are in. And they, that's what they do, frankly, on an everyday basis. They typically do run at a near capacity level for whatever the circumstance may be. In this case, it just happens to be complicated a bit by COVID-19 and, and the nature of a pandemic. And sir, we heard so much about the need for PPE when this pandemic began. Now that we're seeing more cases of coronavirus in Texas, what is the situation with PPE? And do hospitals have enough to serve the people across the state? Uh, it's a good question. Uh, in general, uh, the response we're getting from healthcare systems and hospitals is that they do have uh, adequate PPE. Uh, we may find some uh, select circumstances where people are short of certain things like N95 masks, maybe face shields, maybe gloves, gowns, you know, those are all the, the basic staples of PPE. Uh, but in general, the supply chains have really solidified, uh, similar to what they were in the, in the pre-pandemic phase. And most of the hospitals are saying they're good for 30 to 60 days on their PPE. Uh, but again, that's a general statement. Not everybody is necessarily in that position. Um, but we're much, much improved from where we were back in March. And what would you say to Texans who are choosing not to wear a mask right now? I would say wear a mask. Uh, you know, frankly, uh, this is uh, one of the simplest things that we can do. It's safe uh, and it's effective in protecting others. It's a public health measure. An N95 mask will protect the wearer of the mask. It'll also protect others because it'll, it'll basically disperse any droplets that might be disseminated. But any other mask, uh, the, whether it's something less than an N95 or if it's a cloth face covering, is gonna similarly just physically dispel droplets which contain uh, the virus particles in it. And so it's, a, it's just basically a, a public health measure that we all need to take uh, in addition to distancing as appropriate um, and as well as hand hygiene. And frankly, if you're somebody who is at risk, uh, just try to avoid getting out, uh, you know, to the, to the extent that you can. Um, we like to call that cocooning to the degree that you can. Um, and those are really the basic things. In fact, they really are uh, the most important tools that we have to bring this pandemic under control. And sir, really quickly, do you have any concern about the 4th of July holiday coming up and how Texans choose to respond and whether they choose to go out or, or stay home and, and be a little bit more prepared as we fight the coronavirus? Well, I think what we clearly have seen is that uh, large congregations of people uh, close together and, you know, not wearing masks are, are subject to uh, a great deal of spread. And so it, it doesn't mean that people can't still enjoy the 4th of July and the fireworks and some of the performances that will be out there. They need the distance, they need to wear masks, uh, and they need to be prudent about the number of people that they are around. Uh, and so I would suggest strongly that we try to avoid uh, large congregations of people uh, similar to what we saw on Memorial Day and other situations like that. We certainly see the, the impact of that based on the current situation that we have. Um, 
we can still enjoy our, our Fourth of July celebration. It's an important celebration. Uh, we probably just need to moderate the number of people that we enjoy it with. Have fun, but in moderation. Dr. Zerwas, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you.